Exercise 1. In this exercise, we'll use the COUNTIFS function to compare multiple columns stored in two lists of employee records. We want to compare the names on the current list, stored in the top half of the worksheet, to the prior month list, stored in the bottom half of the worksheet in a table named TBL underscore prior. Since there is no unique identifier column, such as an employee ID, we'll use the first and last name columns to make the comparison. Equals COUNTIFS. Count the TBL prior first name column if the value is equal to our first name and the TBL prior last name column if the value is equal to our last name. Enter and then fill it down. So the zero rows indicate names that do not appear in the prior table. In the next exercise, we'll clean up these results. Exercise 2. In this exercise, we'll nest the COUNTIFS function inside an IF function to clean up the report. Let's break this into two steps. First, let's determine the count as in the previous exercise. Equals COUNTIFS. Count the table's first name column if the value is equal to our first name and the table's last name column if the value is equal to our last name. Now, Let's wrap an if function around the count ifs function to control what is displayed. If the count is equal to 0, then return new. Otherwise, return existing. Enter and fill the formula down. Yes, that looks much better. Exercise 3. In this exercise, we'll reconcile the exports from two different systems. Here, we need to determine if the items in our accounting system also appear in our web store. If the count is zero, then we'll return missing. Otherwise, we'll return web. Equals if. The first argument is the test. We count the number of rows where the tbl underscore web class column is equal to our class and where the subclass column is equal to our subclass and where the component column is equal to our component. If that count is equal to zero then return missing otherwise return web. Enter. Fill it down and we got it. Extra credit 1. In this exercise, we'll use conditional formatting to highlight missing items. First, the formula equals if count ifs the table's class column is equal to our class, the subclass column is equal to our subclass, and the component column is equal to our component. If equal to zero, then return missing. Otherwise, return web. Fill the formula down. Good. Now, conditional formatting. If the cell value is equal to missing, then let's go with a cell fill of red and a bold white font. And, yeah, I think we're good. This video is a production of Click Consult.